In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a text animation where the text is tracked into the scene and then it raises up through the floor. So let's get into it. So as you can see, we're inside of Adobe After Effects and you can see I've got this shot of the camera tilting up. It's a little bit shaky. And before we can do anything, we need to track this camera movement before we can actually add the text into the scene. So in order to do that, I'm just going to search for the 3D camera tracker. I misspelled camera, 3D camera tracker. There we go. We're just going to drop that onto our footage. We'll let that play out. That's just going to analyze the footage in the background. That might take a few minutes. So go grab a coffee, go do what you need to do and come back once that's done. So as you can see, After Effects is now finished with that and we have got all of these crosses, all of these targets now on our footage. So we just need to scrub through the footage and basically all of these points are tracking points. So essentially a tracking point is just this small marker on your footage and it's going to follow the camera movement. And in order to attach anything to this, we need to go ahead and create a null object so that we can parent the text to the null object. It sounds complicated, but I'll walk you through this. So we just want to scrub through the footage and we want to select a target near the floor. So all of these ones up in the trees, I'm not going to bother with because I want this to appear from the ground. So I can select any one of these and I'm just going to select these three. I feel like these three points should work for this. And then you just want to select that. We'll right click and you can see here we can select create text and camera, create solid and camera or create a null and camera. At this point, we want to select null and camera. The reason why we want to select null and camera is because it means we can parent anything to the footage. If we do text or solid, we're locked in with text and solid. But if we do a null, we can add anything into this layer. So with that said and done, you can now see we've got track null one and 3D camera tracker. And essentially that means now when we add our text in, we can block this into 3D space. So let's do that. Let's create some text. Let's go up onto the T icon in the top of After Effects. That is the horizontal type tool. Select that and type out your word, your phrase or whatever you want to track into the scene. I'm just going to do my last name like this. And then we'll go to the character window. And if you can't see the character window, then just go into window and make sure character is enabled. Then we'll go back to character and we can change the font. We can increase the size of this. We can make this bold if we wanted to. We can add some line separation. If you've got multiple lines, you can reduce or increase the tracking, which is the spaces in between the individual letters. Then you can add some fake bold, fake italic, do what you need to do. But once you've done that, we can now just move this towards the middle somewhere. We'll go down to the bottom left of After Effects. And as you can see, you've got the text here. You want to scroll across until you can see this 3D icon. So the layer above is 3D. If you can't see that, it means you're in the wrong mode. So select toggle switches slash modes to get this. And then you just want to enable 3D. So that has turned that 2D text layer into a 3D text layer. So that is now tracked into the scene. So if we play this back, you can see that now lives in the space. But the problem is at the moment, it's just a bit too far away. We want this to be a bit closer to camera. So let's go into that text layer. We'll go transform. And you can see we've got position and scale. By default, you'd think if you increase the scale, it's going to move forward. But all that's doing is just increasing the size. It's not actually bringing that further, which means when we start down here, it's still all the way back there. So instead of doing that, we're just going to bring this forward in position. So select position. The first number is going to be left and right. So the second number is going to be up and down. And that's what we're going to use to animate this up from the floor. But then the last option is forwards and back. So if I pull this up, it goes back. And if I pull this down, it comes forward. So we want this to be roughly around here. So we want this stone here to be roughly where this text is. So as you can see, we're tracking up to this and that looks like it's locked into the scene. But the problem is now that it's a lot closer to camera, we need to decrease the scale. So let's decrease the scale. Get that to a more sensible size so somewhere around here. And now when we play this back, you can see that's tracked into the scene, but the problem is that's not exactly where we wanted this to be. We want this even more forward. So let's just keep bringing this towards the camera. So let's take that there. We'll decrease the scale and we'll just move the position over a little bit and we'll move that up. Now, if we pull the position of this down, you can see that it's actually going to appear through the floor, maybe around here. So I think I just need to move this back into the space a little to line up roughly with that stone. So somewhere around here. And now when we play this back, you can see that is going to look great. 
Although the problem is at the moment, because we animated that position down, it is now all the way down there. So I'm just going to bring that back up into the middle for now. And when we play this back, you can see that text is tracked in. So let's now move on to the point where we animate this up. So before we can do that, we first just need to create a layer that this text is going to appear from. So if we just simply animate the position up, it will look like it's just waiting there ready to go. We want this to come through the floor, preferably in one of these gaps between the tiles. So I'm just going to grab that video footage. We'll copy and paste that, drag that to the top. And then from there, you just want to select one of these lines roughly. So let's go for this one behind the stone. And I'm just going to select that layer and we'll just draw a mask around this layer like this. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's completely fine if this is rough. But then we're just going to draw this mask like this. And then we're just going to create a brand new keyframe on the mask. So we're just going to go into that layer. We'll go masks, mask one and select new keyframe. So select that stopwatch icon on mask path. Then we're just going to move across and we'll just move that mask to follow that point. So I'm using this stone as reference. So feel free to go in between these keyframes and just move that mask to follow. And there you go. That has now appeared off screen. So you don't have to carry on with this mask. We only need to focus on this top bit here. And now that we've got that on the top, we can now move on to the text. So we're just going to go to its final resting position, which is here. We'll create a brand new keyframe on the position. Then we're going to move across to the beginning and we're just going to go to that second number and we're just going to move that down. So as you can see, it's going to come through this gap in the floor like this. Now, I want that to take a little bit longer to get there. So I'm just going to increase the gap between those keyframes. And then on that last keyframe, I'm just going to move the position up so that this now lives in the center of the frame. Now, as you can see, if we go through to the point where it starts to break through the floor, it's just this hard edge. So in order to get rid of that hard edge, if you wanted to, you just go into this top layer, go into the mask, and we're just going to increase the mask feather a little bit. So I set it to 25, and that's how this now looks. Of course, it doesn't have to be as soft as that. You can pull that down to a smaller number. So let's go for 10. And there you go. That looks great. Now, of course, if you wanted to make this text 3D, then all you have to do is go into that text layer, go into geometry options, and then just increase the extrusion depth. And now when we play this back from the beginning, you can see we've got this 3D text coming from the ground. And this now looks really cool. It's tracked into the scene. And when we come to the static, you can see it's still tracked into that scene and it looks great. Of course, if you wanted to, then you can add a light into this scene if you wanted to add some light onto this text. So we can go layer, new, light. We can make this one of these lights. We can go parallel spot, point or ambient. I'm going to go for an ambient light in this example. Press OK. And then when we go into the ambient light, you can see we've got light options. You can increase or decrease the intensity. So if we increase the intensity to around 100, then we get this white text. And then, of course, you can always just add a light onto that just so that you get some nice shaped lighting onto your text. It's completely up to you. But that is the basics of how you would track your footage, animate the text to come up through the floor and then be tracked into the scene for the rest of the footage. Of course, if you wanted to animate the shadow of the text as it comes up from the floor, then of course you could always do that. Or alternatively, you could actually make a cutout on the floor so that you physically see it coming through the floor. That's another potential option. But there's a whole different range of things that you can do with this effect just by adding in solids and shapes into that 3D camera tracking data. But there's a whole different range of effects and techniques that you can use on this effect to take this to the next level. It's completely up to you and your creativity. But there you go. That is how you track your footage and add your text rising up through the floor into your video footage. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.